Hi, I'm Diane Kamata, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to show you how to make my grilled marinated chicken. It is absolutely delicious and it is simple to make. So let's get started on Dishing with Di. So this is one of my go-to grilled chicken recipes, and it's one of those things where you don't know what to make for dinner, this is it. It's super easy, it's really flavorful, and it's great topped on a salad too. So what I do first is mince up some garlic. So that's what I got here. I just have some really finely minced garlic, and you can run your garlic through a garlic press if you want. And then over here, I have some boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I trimmed, and I actually sliced those lengthwise thin, and I do that because I want them to marinate fast and I want them to cook fast because I'm kind of impatient and I just want to get it done. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself a nice size bowl and you're going to add in some olive oil. So this is going to be the marinade we're going to make and usually I'll marinate this for 30 minutes. You could do it longer if you want to but I find that it doesn't really take much longer than that. And then one of the main components here is balsamic vinegar and I just love that with chicken so I'm going to add some of that in here as well and we're just going to get this whole little marinade going and sugar is another ingredient but it'll kind of you know give you a little sweetness in there and just make everything really nice and it also helps with the browning of everything one of the other things I love 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 is some dried rosemary so I'll take the rosemary and you know it comes like this and I kind of break it up a little bit and put that in there there's nothing like rosemary with chicken. It's just delicious. Basil is another goodie here too. So these are all dried herbs that you probably have in your pantry. And just throw this in. And what I like to do when I put them in is I just kind of rub them through my fingers a little bit. It breaks them up and kind of um, brings out the flavor a little bit more, I think. But, you know, since, since these are kind of really common, uh, simple ingredients, it's really easy to make. Most people have this. So this is some dried oregano too. I'm going to throw that in and onion powder. So again, something simple around the house, but this will add a lot of that oniony flavor without you actually going to the trouble of chopping up an onion. So last but not least of our herbs is some thyme leaves. And again, dried thyme with your fingers, just go in there and just break it up a little bit. We got our little herbs in there now. And we need something else to give it some flavor. And I have some Dijon mustard here. And I like this because it's like kind of spicy compared to regular mustard, but it's not going to make them mustardy. Now, some Hungarian sweet paprika. I don't know, you don't have it, just use regular smoked paprika or whatever kind of paprika you have. But this is what I have because, you know, we got some Hungarians around here. So we're gonna throw some of this in, just a little bit, and then some salt. Gotta have the salt in there to keep everything nice and flavorful. Then we have fresh ground black pepper here. So I like the freshly ground black pepper. Of course, just use regular ground pepper if you want to. And we don't want to forget about our garlic. This is super, super flavor coming in here. So you see all these things are going to mix together in just a couple minutes and make you up something that's going to be really delicious for dinner. So grab your whisk and just whisk it together. And then take your chicken breasts and put those right on in this beautiful little bath and just turn them around let them get nice and coated now cover this with some plastic wrap and let this sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes and then you can heat your grill up maybe about 15 minutes into that now if you plan on marinating this longer like if you let it you know sit for a couple hours or something then you want to pop it in your fridge and take it out about 30 minutes before you're going to cook it because you do want to have it at about room temperature before you put it on that grill so i'm just going to let this sit here and then we'll get out to the grill Preheat your grill or your grill pan if you're doing this indoors to medium high heat and place your marinated chicken on the grill. Close the grill 
and let that cook until it gets nice grill marks on the bottom and then flip it over and let it continue cooking until it's done. Then remove your chicken from the grill and let it rest on the plate for about five minutes before you cut into it. Then you can dig in. There's this little tiny piece under here I've just been dying for. I'm gonna take that. Mm. Load it with flavor. As soon as you put it in your mouth, all these herbs, you can taste everything. It's really good. You won't be disappointed. I promise you that. So get the recipe, dishingwithdye.com, and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.